All right, folks. So I don't know what it is, but every time I come out, it seems that cloud right there likes to follow me when they know I'm coming to Simmons Park. If you know about Simmons Park, uh, I'll put a link in the comments below. It's down in Tampa Bay, Southern Hillsborough County. And look at this. So the plan is I'm going to relax right there. I'm going to get some brats on. This is my trunk, truck camp cook setup. I've got some uh, peppers and onions that I'm going to grill up. There are my toppings. Play a little music. And truly relax today. So stay with us. We're going to bring you a true outdoor cooking adventure today with a little bonus fishing maybe I'll catch something who knows we'll be back all right folks we're gonna get some peppers and onions going Bait in water, shrimp. And we're just gonna kick back and see what happens. Looks like the rain cloud is gonna blow over. And we're gonna be able to A, get some good content, B, get some good cooking. Looks like the Hero system is about almost 350. Um, one of the things I like about this Hero system is it has a built-in thermometer that's removable. I'll show you that in a second. And basically you can monitor your cook. You see this cutting board that I'm cutting on right now is a part of the setup. Almost looks like a little suitcase but it has a cutting board, it has a spatula, three almost set up, perfect setup to uh, throw it in a large backpack and head out on the trail. In this case, I'm just heading out of the park. And this was a spur of the moment trip. It's actually a Monday. And I figured there wouldn't be many people out. This would be a good opportunity to just take in. Uh-oh. set a drag up just in case. So if you hear my line screen and let me know. <laughs> We're just slicing up some onions now. Nothing fancy. Just a little bit to go on top of our, our brats. So I did something different today with this, this hero system. My concern about this system from day one was running out of charcoal. So what I did, let me show you, is I only put in half to see what happens, right? So I don't know how that's gonna work or how it's gonna turn out. If you've used this system before, put it in the comments below. But so I put it in half so that I can create a warming zone and a hot zone. 
but according to the, the temp thermometer, um, it's not affecting anything. So we'll see if I still, if I can cook these peppers and onions down on top of this, this thing would be a true winner. For our seasoning, we're just using uh, Florida base Everglades seasoning, all purpose. Uh, we got some fresh homemade buns. This is from our local public store here in the state of Florida. If you're wondering about this, I don't know if you can see that pretty good. I made this as a part of my camp kitchen setup. And it's just a two by six that I retrofitted, measured across the back of my truck. Toyota Tacoma and that sets up my kitchen so I can do a lot of things with that I put up all of my items all of these items that I'm using today I'll put down in the link below. So right now, you can see how I got this system set up. Four brats, I got my peppers and onions directly over the coals. And it looks like temp wise, I'm at about 350. I think I'm starting to hear a little bit of sizzle. And we'll get a little bit of indirect on on the sausage hopefully while the peppers and onions cook that's the plan anyway so right now I'm set up pretty good so right now I'm gonna turn on a little music just really relax, chill out, and enjoy this beautiful weather. We got my friend the cloud. Looks like he's gonna cooperate. So we're good. I love this thing. Basically put a place to let me show you this. So I've got hooks along this for your tools and utensils. Underneath, there's LED lighting for nighttime camp cooks. I mean, this thing is awesome. So check it out. Let's see if we can get a close in and see what our charcoal is doing there. Can we see that? But this is the hero system like I talked about. I love this little thing. You can see my setup here. It's just me. I've got a Yeti cooler, a Yeti cup, four brats, one bell pepper, one onion, seasoning mix, relish, mustard ketchup, and my bread, music, chair, and a fishing pole. Does it get any better than that? No, I don't think so. We'll be back. All right, folks, I, I, I don't like the speed in which this thing is cooking right now so I'm gonna go ahead and add another sleeve if you can see these these little pups I think they call them pods right so I'm gonna add another row they come I believe eight maybe ten in a pack so I'm gonna add some just to get a little bit more heat. It'll take two more rows that stack too high. So hopefully by adding this, I can get the temp back up. Let's 
so they, they light pretty quick again that's the only downside to me and you can see this was a, a new box and I've had to use three of these sleeves if it wasn't for that I would actually absolutely love it but uh folks over at fire and flavor uh let me say that this is not sponsored i paid for this system with my own money it was not sent to me so my my opinions are my opinions i'm not a sponsor or an ambassador or anything for this product i just think that it's it's portability and for what i like to do it's perfect all right, so we'll see if this thing gets it up and higher. Right now, it's at 325. So we'll come back. Just give you an update on the cook. Um, I'm up to full temp on this Hero system. Um, the brats are looking good. Got a little bit more heat under them now. You can see the onions and peppers are coming along I'm gonna pour a little beer on those here in a second give them a little flavor check out my temp here I'm at almost 500 degrees according to the thermometer so that's a great feature on this and again I started out with half charcoal set up to see how it would work and I've gone to a hole you see we got some nice flames there you get a nice, if we were doing burgers or something else, or chicken breast, you can get nice char on your meat with this system. So, I'm just chilling right now. We had a little, little flurry of rain, but other than that, it's absolutely gorgeous out here I tell you I was messing around with my setup as you can see here I've got a couple dozen shrimp and I was caught off guard and a school of Jack Cravel came through busting on bait and man I couldn't get hooked up fast enough that's that's how quick they came through here it was amazing i couldn't get the gopro activated in time it was just let's see if we got anything on the old rod here something's biting because it's taking my bait so let me reset and i'll come back to you outdoor cooking adventures we'll be back all right, folks, another update. So, what I've learned and discovered here is that you definitely want to use a full tray of pods to get maximum heat which makes sense i knew that but i guess it just depends on what you can get away with what you're trying to cook uh, it's not being forgiven for cooking these grilling these onions and peppers in this pan so now i'm at full stack full capacity all across the grill because A, I'm hungry and it didn't hurt to experiment. But what I did learn is it, it's very easy to access if you do find yourself cooking and it's not up filled to capacity. It's very easy to pull it out, as you can see here, slide the tray back in and get it going. All right, folks, 
the Hero grilling system perform well as expected. That turned out just absolutely phenomenal. So we're going to prep our bread here with good old mustard as a base. I'm going to do a little relish as a bottom of the bun. I'm going to save my ketchup for the top. These brats and these caramelized onions have just went perfectly caramelized onions with a little pumpkin beer flavored infusion Cheers. I'm DJ Smoker and I'm out.